Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, this is Suit and Tie Guy. I'm uh, going to do a quick little demo here of the uh, world's most advanced envelope generator. Mainly just because I wanted to test drive my new Tascam IXR audio interface that uh, the kind folks over at Tascam were nice enough to give me so that I could make videos like this and mention their name. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm using it with a uh, iPod Touch. Um, I basically wanted to be able to just shoot video and bring it in to Digital Performer, um, compress the audio, and then spit the file out again and upload it. So, and I could even maybe even do this quicker if I mixed the microphone before, you know, anyway, whatever. So, uh, what I wanted to show you was just the. Um, control voltage aspect of the world's most advanced envelope generator. Um, and I'm just going to basically just show you a little quick eighth note sequence. It's a, it's a five, it's actually a five stage sequence. It's an eighth note sequence. It's an eight note sequence though, because it's re-triggered um, every, every bar. So um, it's like, I think it's like five eighth notes, you know, so like, so it plays five eighth notes, then it plays three eighth notes, then it plays five eighth notes, so like this, right? Okay, like that, right? Okay, so uh, I am using the envelope generator in the uh, ADSR model, okay, and uh, ADSR model, the mode I'm running in is the trigger mode, so it just blows through all the time stages, okay, um, which basically, the way that I have it set up, okay, so this is the, the E, or sustain control, okay, so that sets the break point between this, this decay and this decay. So if you just crank this all the way down and everything else all the way down and you just play with this and when you've got this thing in trigger mode, it's just, you're just getting a one stage envelope basically. Okay, so I have a uh, stage three on the uh, right, right here, that knob, stage three. Uh, stage three, stage three on the uh, Q960 is uh, sending us four volts. Uh, all the other stages are turned off. Okay. All right. So um, the uh, envelope control inputs are over here. So these are control inputs. These are their uh, associated attenuators. So time one, time two, time three, time four. And like. Hold it, suit and tie guy, you're gonna show me, you're gonna modulate decay. That's time three. Why do you have it plugged into time one? Oh, so that's because these are all cascaded. So I can plug one voltage in here and then just, you know, kind of uh, control how much it goes to each, uh, you know, input. All right, all right. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna crank this up a little bit. The sound isn't that interesting. It's just a sawtooth wave with a sub-octave. It's going through the post-lawsuit low-pass filter. It's a nice sound. But this is a bit, I, I make this sound all the time. It's a typical suit and tie guy sound. All right, so now I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this, this control voltage in to time three. All right, four minutes in the video, and he actually shows you <laughs> what the hell the video is about. <laughs> Consider this a long form, short take demo video. Anyway, so you're, you're hearing that, that, that. I think that's really cool. And you can add some more voltage on another stage. So now I added some on five. So it's four volts on three and two on five. And 
who's on first? Well, voltage is on first, but it's only coming in on the third. All right, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna give you one more thing before I shut the camera off. I'm gonna show you this uh, curve control here. It's set all the way over to logarithmic. We're gonna crank this in the direction of linear. linear VCA so you're gonna get the most audio response from a log curve but you know linear envelopes are sometimes useful with that too and you can voltage control that as well but it doesn't have an attenuator That's, that'll be another video Thank you for listening.